In a recent Optic podcast, they talk about the Valorant scene, which is very interesting because we have also talked about previously Optic in the Valorant space and why maybe it has not happened. It's actually Hex and the guys in a recent podcast. Make sure to go check it out. The best podcast in esports currently as they talk about why Optic did not deserve to be in Valorant in the first place. And Hex even openly admitting that they fricked up. They effed up the application in the first two stages of that process. They, they maybe think they still deserve to be in it because of the content they made, the viewership they brought, and the backing, but they messed up their own application. They have the rankings as to uh, of most watched Valorant Champions matches ever. And guess who came at the number one? Optic. Huh? Optic? Yeah, man. Now, yo, you know what I did see, by the way? I keep what? seeing on my fucking TL that uh, our Optic team's going to be back. What's up with that? Uh, to Valorant? Yeah. It will not be back, back buddy. <laughs> what they're asking for too much huh they're asking for too much it's not i mean I, I, listen i don't I, give them too much now no no it's not it's not it's not about the players i love the players it's just that we didn't make it into that uh well, first of all oh. we we didn't deserve to because because there were fuck ups on the first two steps of that application on our side so we didn't deserve to be in there but also like i think that we deserve to be in there just because of you know, we were passionate about the sport, love the sport, and we did good. Matt, you, you found that shit? I retweeted it if it makes it easy for you. And they kind of go back, like they say, like, they're, they're not going to go back to Valorant. And then they say, like, they maybe would like to be back in Valorant. And also Hex saying some crazy things of, like, the, the fact that these maybe maybe the average salary, maybe the top salaries, I don't know exactly what he meant, in Valorant is 30 k a month per player. And I was like, what? That's, that is... um. That's a sign of the times for sure. If, that, if that's actually true, I don't believe that's necessarily the case for every player out there in the Valorant space, but certainly if you want the heavy hitting previous optic roster, I would believe that some of those players want an arm and a leg for you, for them to play for you. You know, that's, we've heard it. Uh, we're still number one, the most watched. Uh, right, but uh, uh, let uh, me guess, uh, verse, damn, loud? Mm-hmm. All right. That was when we, right? Yeah. Optic versus Loud 1.5, Champions yeah. 2022, Fnatic. Damn. Listen, <laughs> I, I liked for nothing more, but I do I do believe that, you know, a fair process was was made and, you know, it is what it is. What do you think average salary for Valorant is? I can tell you right now. All right, tell me. It's like 30 a month per player. So, like, roughly... They deserve, they deserve that. Well, listen, like I, I was, I was I, you know, you know me. If 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 we're if, if it's a good investment for Optic and Optic can get some of that back as we would in situations like these, I more than happy. I was gonna give more than that. I was gonna give more than that. You know what I'm saying? You're a generous it's, guy. One point five. No. No, I'm not. I'm a very fair guy. You you get what you put in. And then, of course, they also talked about Optic versus Loud. You guys know back to 2022, uh, who the, the time freaking flies. I was back in L.A. in the apartment watching that series. It is still the most watched series in the history of Valorant. I would say thanks to the South American crowd, but also to the bullstring of Optics crowd. That is like one of the perfect grand finals you could ever hope for. Let's just, just keep in mind, like Optic and Loud, you know, I would say arguably two of the biggest brands to ever play the sport in itself which kind of makes the question be asked right does optic deserve to be back in valorant or should they have been in the first place i would have probably put my vote in there but i am biased ever since the cs days with optic very lastly it makes me think of the last time we talked about optic valorant it was hitch and hex talking about why they weren't in the challenger space because it doesn't make sense there's no money in valorant right now let alone in vct but especially in challengers it makes sense why we have not seen optic since they messed up their application and were not accepted i guarantee you there are people that say, that would say that there they are people say. still saying why don't you guys pick up a a valorant team and i love valorant and i'm sad we didn't get into the league but again you know how much those pair players are getting the players are getting paid yeah. to play in the in the what's the league is not challengers the yeah the, the main league yeah no the b league not oh. the not the main league yeah the not the shit i can't even remember but people want us to be in in that league and it's like how do you make it make sense how do you th those players are getting paid more than cdl players uh, more than like baseline cdl salaries mm -hmm. And it's just like how 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 do you expect? Well, there's definitely a view. The viewership is there for 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 Valorant. It's it's the so, but still, it's it just not not doesn't make sense. Yeah, the, I mean the viewership is there, but the viewership was always there for Counter Strike too, and it didn't make sense there. 
I, yeah. I, I just feel like, I feel like just because shit has a lot of views doesn't mean it has a lot of value. Yeah. Like, I think, I think even where content's going in, in a sense is the same way. Like, you'll see, you'll see TikToks or Instagram reels with, or YouTube shorts with a gazillion views. But you, I can't. I can't name the creator who's making it. What do you guys think? Will Optic buy the guard roster? There were rumors of this. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't see it happening. That's just on a hunch. I have no other information. I just feel like Optic run a tight ship and they only get involved with things they know they can turn a profit in. And I feel like Valorant is a very, very tough sport to do that in right now. You know, if you're giving these high, high salaries to players that you have a difficulty retaining, you have to do very well in the first place, and then you give most of your prize money and sticker money or whatever bundle money back to the players. I know that's a lot of esports out there, but there, the, ever since the guard said no to the VCT spot, I've just been very curious, and I, I don't think Optic's going to be joining Valorant, and I hope I am wrong. What do you guys think? Optic themselves even said they did not deserve to be in Valorant. But what do you think? Leave a comment down below. Thanks for subbing. Drink some water, maybe some coffee. I'll see you back here soon, okay? Have a great rest of your weekend and take care.